What's going on guys? We are back today. Sorry for the late video. We've been very busy lately. Um, I personally have been doing some stuff. God damn, the sun's all bright today. I've been doing some stuff at home where I can't really be recording. Um, so technically, I'm back. Um, and I'm here to review the final, you know, GY6. So uh, the GY6 Ruckus build. So I mean, it came out great. So before we get into this i'm gonna go ahead and say thank you for you know all the subscribers all the likes all the comments everything i appreciate all that um we are going to be starting a new build our new build is not going to be a honda ruckus but we will be building um i did have a drift trike that i built i want to say i think it was like two months ago or like Oh no, no, I had it like two months ago, but I had to sell it to get parts for the Rutgers. So what I'm trying to say is like, I had a drift cart that I built, and I think it's been like over a year, but I find I don't have it no more, but we're going to be building a drift trike, and we're going to be using, we're going to be trying to make it with no tools, no welding, no none of that. So we're going to try and build that drift trike, and we're also going to slap some mud tires on some dirt tires on it so we can go ahead and you know drive it all around and not drive but right around all the backyard not right here but like on the other side of that container so we're going to be going and you know trying to get that going uh, but that's going to be for next video i'm going to be starting that video um after this actually but we are going to be reviewing the honda ruckus and how do i like it with the gy6 swap and does anything bother me or what i would have changed anything or all right so let's go ahead and move this real quick because it's in the way of everything and the little dogs are jumping everywhere so let's move it i just had to move it because it was all cloud over there i actually haven't turned it on in about i want to say a week two weeks maybe like two weeks so we're gonna see how it starts after a two week uh little break just gotta get my keys real quick uh -uh. love this honda ruckus key so freaking weird like it has small threads up in here or small pattern all right so i haven't actually turned it on and it's been about like two maybe even three weeks i don't want to say a full month but yeah maybe even like three weeks but go ahead and see how it turns on that's good that's good and remember guys this is from i want to say uh, it's, i want to say it's like a week or two but if it turns on right now i mean great if it doesn't i mean now i know what to expect and to keep turning it on every other day so here we go here goes nothing actually from it sitting there for a while actually that's pretty good so i mean like, at least i don't have to worry about the carburetor getting all jammed up and clogged up over a week or two you know or the fuel doesn't uh the, the fuel doesn't like go down the little hose and it's straight uh it doesn't want to turn off oh but i think i set it up like this let me see yeah we should be good we should be good but yeah um let's go ahead and turn it off so i'll go ahead and uh, talk to you guys all right, so what do I think about the GY6 uh, swap? Um, I did go on a test ride the other day. I did, um, I don't, I did go on a test ride, but it's like I couldn't go very far because I still don't have some stuff. And I just went on it just to, you know, for you guys. So I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna, you know, ride around and see what I really think and then go from there. So what do I think about it? Um, it's amazing, man. Um, me as a tall person, uh, I mean, I, I don't know whatever you guys suggest tall, but I'm like six feet. So the stretch really helped out a lot. Um, it helps me because, you know, the seat is like pushed way back and I can sit on it way more back. And then the only thing I am trying to figure out is whether where my feet are comfortable and whether I'm gonna put the pegs up here or will people use them right here. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Uh, besides that, the braking seems the same. No much of a difference on braking. Acceleration is crazy. Um, so I'll show you guys a little video on acceleration right now. 
and see what I mean. Like I'm going, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up next to a car. Uh, I'll put a street light and then I'm gonna take off at the same time. So I mean, I couldn't do this with the other uh, with the 50cc, but I could do this with this. Um, but yet again, you could build your 50cc to have fast acceleration. But that's all on you. But this is what I'm thinking about the GY6. So another thing about the GY6, um, it wasn't a pain to install. Um, a lot of people, I see a lot of people have trouble installing it, where they have a bunch of wiring issues and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I get where you're coming from because there are some um, harnesses that replace everything and then there's some harness like the one that Rolling Wrench makes was just a plug and play 20 minute. I do wish I would have done the that one. I mean, no offense to Ruck Shop, uh, the, the one that they have, that one's pretty cool, but that one would have saved me a lot of time. So if you are doing the GY6 swap, Please go check out the Rolling Wrench. He has their um, 20 minute uh, install harness for the GY6 and you should be good to go. One more thing that I like about the GY6 um, is top speed, man. Um, I think, I'm not too sure what's my top speed on this because I haven't really done like as fast as I needed to. Because uh, I've been on the street and I've gone like 50, 55 max. And that's because, you know, I ha the, that, I'm in California, man. The streets ain't that fast out here. Like, I don't have to be going 60 on the street on this little thing. Or, um, there's freaking potholes out here. Freaking, I'm going to die out here. There's potholes all over this damn city. Like, look at my Miata. Look how slammed it is. I don't even drive that thing. I love the fatty wheel. Oh, my God. This thing's amazing. That, just that one wheel being chrome catches so much attention. Um, what else? The other thing I do like about the GY6 is there's a lot of performance parts. Oh, a hell of a lot. So that's uh, another badass thing where you could buy a head, a ported head, valves, or you could buy the, the, the little cam. You could buy uh, any of the um, CV, the little transmission part. You could buy, um, I want to say a piston. You got all kinds of stuff you could buy. Uh, you got intake, not intake, but like the carburetor. You got exhaust that you could buy. You, you got all kinds of um, like parts that you could buy. So that's another bad thing that there is. Like bad as in good. So um, that's one thing that I am looking forward to is buying a bunch of performance parts. Not right now because I still can't even drive it in the street. So I don't see what's the point of me um, actually getting that. So we're going to be taking it for a ride. Um, I'm gonna see, uh, the thing that sucks is I have my helmet, but I don't have the GoPro mount on it. I do buy, I did buy some GoPro mounts, but I don't even have a mic for it. So it's going to be like all windy and I don't want it to be all windy. So I'm just going to grab the GoPro as I drive. Or, you know what? Let me see. I actually bought some GoPro mounts. But GoPro mounts that I bought. <sighs> um, I'm going to see what I can do. Let me try to get one of these all lined up. You guys, you guys want to know something crazy? So on Sunday, I went to Cars and Coffee, right? And everything went cool. And then I opened up my hood, freaking main, my my pulley, this one right here, my main pulley, the harmonic balancer, that motherfucker was loose. So I'm going to another Cars and Coffee on Saturday or Sunday. And then I just got to tighten that up, get that going. So yeah, that's some little bad news that I got. It was a freaking main pulley wobble i was all kind of like sketched out all scared i was like damn i done messed everything up but ended up being not that bad all right let's go So this street right here is one of our main streets where I live at um, So all we're gonna be doing is making a left right here. So once I make a left on the street It's technically like a mini highway because the street is a 50 I believe Yeah, it should be a 50 or a 45, but nobody drives 45 around here So we're gonna go ahead and see how we can stick up with traffic And 
Let's hope I don't get pulled over. pretty fast um, no hesitation that was a pretty steep hill um, even uh, when I drive my wife's car I, I feel like a big difference when I'm driving it but right now uh, there was no problem I had no problem keeping up with traffic uh, thank God I didn't catch no police out here because I don't have a license plate so yeah uh, we're heading back home but we're taking the long way so we can keep enjoying this ride because uh, I'm trying to enjoy the ride while I can well, I don't have these damn license plates. DMV takes forever right now. So let's go. Oh man, I forgot this kid has a bunch of potholes. So far, so good. I like the, 
I'm keeping up with everybody and staying away. There's no police around here. I try to take the least way where there's less traffic. Um, even though I hopped on that main street, but um, main street was just me trying to figure out whether this thing's gonna keep up with traffic or not. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and keep taking the main street. I'm not gonna take the side street. So go ahead and. That's pretty much gonna be it for today guys i mean the honda ruckus is doing pretty good with the gy6 swap i haven't had any issues at all so stay tuned for that um as in for the drift track build series that's gonna be coming up soon that should be one of my next videos um so i won't be doing the drift track series and working on the miata so we got a bunch of stuff to do i gotta definitely work on the miata because this thing is terrifying man i gotta go ahead and fix this uh, so I can take it to Cars and Coffee this Sunday. But besides that, I um, appreciate the new subscribers, the new uh, likes, comments, everything. Um, I am going to have merch coming out soon. So stay tuned for that uh, just to help out the channel if you guys want to. But besides that, I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Yeah.